All right, back at the fill site again. Got a couple things that have changed. They uh, Dry Valley Engine 51 is the one on the other side of the tree there. He is drafting. He was the initial engine in here. Uh, he's filling through five-inch hose out to the street. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, they've added engine 81 into the mix here, and um, he's got the puck on the engine. He went ahead and drafted through 30 feet of hard sleeve to a floating strainer. He's got a nozzle on the panel using that for his recirculating valve. Uh, he's also supplying the tankers through five-inch hose. Both of these engines have large diameter discharges, so they went ahead and hooked right up to them. So you can see the five-inch coming off of both of them. They run out to manifolds, and then they're filling up the tankers that way. Um, engine 81, they have their manifold on backwards, so they can use it to drain. All the tankers here are using five-inch hose to fill. So this manifold is flipped around backwards, they fill, and then they use one of the two and a half to drain. P Ridge is full over there. These guys have set up a double manifold and they're using that to drain too. The reason they had two set up here is because they were originally the only one here and then they could have two independent fill sites set up. They only ever filled one tanker at a time, but they were able to hook the second one up so they were ready to roll whenever they came in. Now they're to the point that they only have to fill one up at a time.